Greetings, everybody. We are back with our very first video. In this first video, we're going to be doing a uh, a tour of a of a build. I want to show you the sort of um, the sort of you know in-depth video that I'm looking for for my students. But it's also the same video is also going to serve as a as an example that I will show to my students when I introduce this into the classroom. Show them the sorts of things that I'm looking for with their end project. And so this video here is going to contain a project that was not, this is not entirely student built. Um, I wanted to take control of this as much as possible in order to, I needed it to, to meet certain, certain goals, certain guidelines, certain things that I have in mind that I want the students to Repli re replicate, repeat whenever they are working on their own projects. Now, granted, I did have some some of my students there towards the end of the year as we were winding down, had a lot of free time. Uh, they decided to chip in and hopped on some computers and and helped me fill in a lot of the a lot of the blocks here. But, well, anyways, so let me uh, get to it. The uh, the video uh, here is of a of a build of the temple of Jupiter Optimus Maximus chose this temple as the example build to show students um, because it is you know, one of the first temples in Rome. Um, it was, well, it was at least dedicated in about 509 BC. Um, although not a Roman temple, it was an Etruscan temple. And in fact, it was erected by uh, or during the, uh, the reign of the Etruscan kings. But it still is going to be highly influential on Roman buildings, on Roman temple building, that is. And so I'd like to show you all a little bit of that, discuss a few of those points. Now, in order to figure out how to, to make this building, uh, because some of you know and some of you may not, the temple of uh, Jupiter Optimus Maximus, is no longer standing. Uh, not only is it no longer standing, it has lived through several versions, several variations. The fir um, at least four, maybe five uh, variations existed of this building. Now, I, I believe that the general shape and size was maintained, but the materials that were used, the decorations and so forth over time and just about every build were changed. So, you know, when, you, when we started doing research on this, it, it started to become a little bit problematic. You know, what are we going to settle on here? Which, which one is going to be the best? And I, and I thought as sort of a purist, it would be nice to show the students what it may have looked like in its earliest forms. We're going to get enough of the later Republican and Hellenized and, and later sort of imperial temples. We're going to get enough of that anyways. So I thought, well, let's try to keep it as, as Etruscan as possible or as, yeah, let's just say as possible and, uh, and then go from there. So we, uh, what we ended up doing is basing this temple off of a couple of images that I found. Um, one was this image here. It is a, uh, a model of the, uh, the temple. So we don't have a whole lot of decoration in terms of paint on there. Uh, we, don't, we don't know what the pillars would have been painted like, so on and so forth. So, but it just gives us kind of a feel of this is the accepted look of the, of the building. So once we did that, we, we started looking around to see if we could find one that was maybe a bit more decorative, something that could give us some more ideas, and, and we found one. And in fact, this is the one we tried to mimic almost in its entirety. We've added some things and done things a little bit differently, but this is the one, this as, uh, of course, as well as this one that we ultimately decided would be, the, uh, would be most indicative of, of what actually existed in about 509 BC. So you can see that we've tried to uh, copy that as best as possible. So um, what's, uh, what's really great about this, uh, this temple here, this, uh, this Etruscan temple, well, I mean, there's a lot of things. But um, so first, it's one of the oldest. It was on the Capitoline Hill. Uh, it was built by, by the Etruscans. So 
Uh, yeah, you'll have to forgive the, uh, the Roma. We'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> um, <coughs> so it's in the Etruscan style, and this very Etruscan style is later on going to influence how the Romans are going to build their own temples. Uh, this temple is great because it shows us a, a tripartite, a three-part cella, which was something a bit different. Certainly we don't see this in any Greek temples. Uh, and, and that's because we have the Capitoline Triad here. So we have, uh, we've got the gods Jupiter, Juno, Minerva, who are represented and to, be, to have been worshipped in this temple. Lots of, uh, lots of colors, lots of decoration, and massive. So we tried to build this temple, or rather, we, the scale we used for this temple was one block equals one meter. So at the end of the day, what we ended up with, just um, length and width-wise, we're talking about roughly 60 blocks, they think, or sorry, 60 meters, they think, was about how... Uh, wide or I'm sorry how long it was then uh, as in terms of uh, in terms of width uh, also 60 blocks now again depending on because listen not much remains of this we have the the podium down here uh, a bit of the podium that actually remains uh, this thing was said to have been gosh what was that a little over four meters high so that's about all that remains. So that means there, a lot of this is just guesswork. Uh, we're looking at paintings, drawings, depictions, uh, seeing what Vitruvius had to say about this temple and, and so on. So this is, uh, these are the ultimate dimensions we settled upon. Then if we, if we look a little bit closer here with this temple, we see that it has a single staircase which I want to point out is going to be different from Greek temples, which are going to have a staircase that will wrap around the, uh, the temple. This single staircase is going to give us, it's going to make uh, the observer, the visitor, focus more on the front of the temple. And in fact, if we, if we look a little bit over here on the, on the back side, that's why we have this, this flat, it's just a wall in the back for this temple. There was the, uh, the, the columns do not carry, they do not wrap around. Uh, because again, the, the focus of this temple was primarily here in the front. Um, in terms of the uh, the Etruscan style of the pediment here, it was relatively simple. Etruscans tended to leave their pediments either open or at least just blank. Uh, they they might decorate it up top with uh, various uh, statues, uh, and so I I opted um, since uh, so here's my attempt of a statue which. Uh, when you're using a, a, a block like this, a single block, it, it becomes a bit more difficult. So, anyway, so then I opted for the letters Roma. I, I've tried to uh, I've tried to get the uh, the four horses and the chariot here, um, which I think from a distance you kind of get you can kind of see it. Of course, up close it's not doesn't do any justice. But um, at any rate, so we've got this uh, we got this focus on the uh, on the front of the temple. If we come up a little bit closer, um, so we see that everything is painted, and, and, and we, we chose that for the, the sake of, of just, you know, aesthetically it looks better. But it stands to, s we need to say, well, what was this temple made out of? This temple originally, we think, was uh, the bottom, the podium here, was, would have been made out of a mud brick. The columns uh, would have actually have been made out of wood. We're going to have wood in, of course, the uh, the beams. We're going to have a sort of a, a terracotta uh, top up here for the uh, for the for the roofing. So, sort of a sort of a brick uh, top, although a little different. A mud brick, of course, would have been used for the uh, excuse me for the walls of the cellar. And. And it's because of this very, these very simple, uh, the simple uh, building, the the materials not being, you know, as durable as some of the stones that are going to later be used. That's, you know, this thing was susceptible to uh, fire, and in fact, as I mentioned earlier, burned down several times. 
Um, again, uh, this, this tall podium, which I mentioned this earlier, at least its uh, height being about four meters, is going to be indicative of an Etruscan temple, uh, different from Greek temples, which usually had their, their temple sitting just on the ground. The, uh, the Romans are going to borrow this uh, and use this for their temple building as well. And then the, if we go inside, so now let's, let's take a look at the, uh, the cella. So we have the Capitoline Triad, and inside of here we have statues. Sorry, Minecraft sounds. Uh, then we have statues that are going to be dedicated to the gods of the Capitoline Triad. Here is a statue um, of, of Jupiter, and so we have his, uh, his eagle there. If we move to this room, then in this room we're going to have Juno, and she's going to have her little peacock there, a little statue of that. Then if we move along to this last room, then we will have Minerva here in some of her more uh, warlike material, uh, or garb, and an owl, All right? So here we have the uh, the Capitoline Triad uh, being uh, who are to be worshipped here in this great and massive temple. Out front we have the the altars <coughs> where the sacrifices would have been performed. Um, certainly, uh, your average person is not was not allowed to uh, go into the cella. This is was reserved for the priests um, and and very high ranking officials. We the Romans and the Etruscans just simply, you know, you, could, you didn't want just any old person witnessing the, uh, the holy, sort of holy images and relics that they had in, inside, of the, uh, inside of the cella. And so this, folks, is the, uh, is the temple of, the, of Jupiter, Optimus Maximus. I hope that this has been uh, informative for you. Certainly look forward to showing you the, the actual student builds, which will be coming, coming up momentarily. So uh, as always, I thank you for your time and look forward to speaking with you again soon. Walete.